There's this idea with secularization theory that the demons are outside. You know, there are acids of modernity raining in on us. The rise of this thing called secular humanism. I'm saying, well, there is a rise of humanism, but it's not secular. What I'm trying to address is um, what I call worldview thinking, which is, goes back to people like Abraham Kuyper in the um, early 20th century, the Dutch Calvinist, more recently Francis Schaeffer, who've kind of armed the Christian right with a sort of discourse of, of negation. This way of thinking is to sharply define Christian thought or biblical thought or biblical worldview from modern thought. You have one worldview, we have another. The New York Times had picked up on this in, in Sarah Palin's vice presidential campaign of 2008 saying, well, it's all right not to know about the world as long as you've got a worldview. You put three Christians in a room and ask them to debate a particular issue, you'll, ha you'll have a lot of variety, you know, whether there is such a thing as a worldview that's going to emerge from that. And the same with the so-called secular worldview. You realize that these are conversation stoppers. And I feel that we should drop some of the worldview language because it just creates a distance. There is always enrichment that comes from engaging with the other. Mm -hmm.